Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about the lectin pathway of the complement system. The lectin pathway starts when MBL or mannose binding protein and phycolins, which is not shown in this video, recognize certain patterns of carbohydrates on pathogens. Here MBL is recognizing mannose patterns found on pathogens. MBL form a complex with mannose associated serine proteases or MASPs. These proteases play a fundamental role during the lectin pathway activation. Once MBL recognize mannose patterns on the cell surface of pathogens, will activate the serine protease 1 or MASP1 and this one will activate the MASP2 serine protease. MASP2 has the capacity to clip C4, forming C4A and C4B. If C4B is close enough to the cell surface of pathogen, will covalently attach to the cell surface. This is what we call C4B deposition. MASP2 also has the capacity to cleave C2, forming C2B and C2A. If C2A is close enough to a pre-bound C4B, will generate a complex called C3 convertase or C4B C2A. The C3 convertase C4B C2A now will be able to cleave C3, generating C3A and C3B. C3A is a very potent chemoattractant molecule that allows recruitment of neutrophils to the site of the infection. C3B, if it is close enough, will covalently attach to the cell surface. This is what we call C3B deposition. The C3 convertase will be able to cleave several molecules of C3, depositing several molecules of C3B on the cell surface. Because C3B can be recognized by macrophages and neutrophils and promote phagocytosis, C3B is also considered a opsonid in a process called opsonization. If the C3B that is cleaved by the C3 convertase binds to it, it will generate a new complex called C4B, C2A, C3B. This is also named C5 convertase. The C5 convertase, as its name states, it will cleave and recognize C5, generating C5B and C5A. C5A is the most potent chemoattractant molecule. It is able to recruit neutrophils to the site of the infection and activate macrophages. This is also reviewed in another video. C5B will recruit C6. This will be recognized by C7. The complex C5B, C6, C7 will bind to the cell surface of pathogens, allowing the, the binding of C8. C8 will insert in the cell membrane of pathogens and it will recruit several molecules of C9 in order to form a pore. The complex C5B to C9 is what it is called membrane attack complex. MAC will generate pores on the cell surface of pathogen, leading to lysis and destructions of pathogens. Thank you.